one this is your friend jet and then in this tutorial video guys we will learn how to create a compound interest in vb.net or visual basic.net before we continue i would like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers to my channel if you are new with my channel and you like this video tutorial please hit the like button don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials so let's get started guys so we have here the form which has the title of a form compound interest in vb.net so i have here four label give principal amount give interest rate give time period which refers to number of years and compound interest so i have here four text box for principal interest rate time which refers to a year in compound interest and then after which we have three uh, button compute clear and quit so in the clear compute button so we have here several variables abc as double dim total interest and then we have also here for amount and then dim compound interest as double now for our principal amount it is represented by a variable a for our interest rate variable b and then time which is represented by variable c so we have here total principal multiplied by rate and time interest equals total divided by 100 so we have here amount multiply amount equals a multiplied by math pow 1 plus b for the interest rate and then 100 comma for the time so compound underscore interest equals a minus amount minus a which refers to your principal amount so we have here the text box for to display the compound interest value which we are using in visual basic.net format currency in this case we are using philippines so we have also here another button that is clear to clear the text box and then the focus of the cursor will return to our text box one for our quit we simply put end okay so when we run our program let's say give principal amount let's say we have thirty thousand sorry and then interest rate we have the example 10 time period 1 1 year click compute so the interest for 1 year is 3000 pesos with the interest rate of 10 percent and then the principal amount is 30,000 pesos let us click the clear another example we can have example 2500 interest rate let's say 1.5 and then time period let's say two years so two thousand five hundred as our principal amount the interest rate is 1.5 given time period two years we have 75.56 uh, pesos clear for our last example let's say we have fifty thousand and then the interest rate will be five percent time give time period let's say five years let us click the compound we have here for five years we have here 13,814.04 centavos in pesos so this is uh, the the end of our tutorial videos video on how to create compound interest in vb.net or visual basic.net using visual studio 2005 express edition which is also compatible with the present version of visual studio uh, thank you very much guys for watching if you like this video tutorial please hit the like button don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials i will put a link in the description below where you can download the complete program listing of this uh, video, video tutorials See you in the next video tutorial guys. This is your friend Jake saying see you. Bye bye for now.